that beautiful time of day. Well, the dogs, they want to hunt naturally. It's the witching hour. Us pig hunters love it. Fishermen love it. Everybody that uh, gathers something in the wild loves it because it's a great time to up your catch rate. Get them behind. Anyway, I was going to do a vlog today, a snap vlog, and then I woke up this morning and I thought, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to enjoy the day without yakking into my bloody Android phone. But then evening came, I thought, well, why not share the moment? I look at it. It's just beautiful. Listen. Other than my dog's panting, what can you hear? Birds. Light breeze. It's the magic hour. It's magic. It's always felt magic to me. Even when I was a kid, you know, I used to think, wow. It's so cool. I just, yeah. I love this time of day. It's like peaceful. Whew. Anyway, let's get down to it. You know, once upon a time, my life was so incredibly hectic. I used to work as an entertainer in Europe. I was a singer. See, in Germany, they had, throughout Germany, 450 registered Irish pubs in Germany. They were kind of like a chain. Like, if you imagine a chain of McDonald's or Burger King or any franchise, except these were Irish pubs. They sold Kilkenny, Guinness, Irish whiskies, had Irish staff that were all just great working there from Ireland, and they had live music every night of the week. So they needed to have musicians. Now, when you've got 450 Irish pubs scattered throughout Germany, that's a lot of musicians needed to keep playing music every night. And during the 90s, that, that's what they did. Now, I made a comment yesterday on one of my videos about how there was a time in my life where I did 120 hours a week working. And naturally, no one's going to believe that because what does it work out? Working seven days a week, 18 hours a day. You know, it leaves six hours to sleep. Well, let me tell you what I did. I'm going to turn around now and take your dogs back down. Just how I actually work. Come on. I used to do between 40 and 60 gigs in a row, concerts in a row. My day would start off with a cleaning lady coming into my hotel room and kicking me out of bed in the morning. The Putzfrau. It's German for cleaning lady. He'd be like, knock, knock, knock. And she'd be pissed off because I'm supposed to be out of the room by then. I'd be fast asleep. I'd be like, <sighs> absolutely wasted. I would have only been in probably bed, you know, four or five hours, tops. Sometimes only, you know, four hours sleep. Four hours was, was a regular amount of sleep. Sometimes three, sometimes even less, sometimes no sleep. So she kicked me out of bed, I'd get all my shit together, my guitar, my rucksack, I'd take my clothes off the heater because if it was winter, I would drive my clothes to the night before because that's how I used to do it. And then I would get it in my rucksack, put it on my back, go down to the train station and jump on a train and travel to the next town. I might be travelling from Frankfurt to Munich or even to oh, one end of Germany to the other quite often because I played all over Germany. Some days I'd travel eight hours a day, some days seven, some days I'd, I'd fly, mostly I would take the train, mostly. So finally I would arrive somewhere, I'd get to the train station, sometimes I'd walk, sometimes I'd take a taxi, but I'd get there, jump on my train and travel. And I might take three or four trains to get to where I was going. So I'd get a bit of sleep if I could on the train, but I'd be travelling all the time. Then I would arrive in the town, I was playing music that night, let's say I'm landing in the town of Bamberg for instance. Get into Bamberg, I'd go from the train station, down to the pub where I was playing, set all my gear up, do my sound check, and then I'd have my first meal of the day. I only ever had one meal a day back then because that's the only time I had. Sometimes I'd get something in an imbus, but most of the time, once I was, had my gear set up, I'd go and have my meal of the day. Lay the rabbits. Get in. Come on. Get in. Anyway, I'd have that meal. I would have my gear set up at the pub. I'd go back to my hotel, and I'd have a wee sleep for an hour because I'd be exhausted because it would have been a big day and I wouldn't have much sleep the night before. Have a wee sleep, jump in the shower, get out, go back down to the pub where I was playing, Get a beer or a whiskey, sit at the bar, and talk to whoever came in. Get on stage around 9 o'clock, sometimes 10 o'clock, and I'd play often, it was a Friday or Saturday night, I'd play till like 1 or 2 in the morning sometimes. Normally I'd finish at 1 and tidy up by 2. If it's during the week, I might finish at 12. After I'd done my gig, I'd have to break all the gear down, count the money, get all my shit together, and get back to the hotel. Sometimes I wouldn't get back to the hotel room at 4 in the morning, sometimes 5 in the morning, and eventually I'd just crash out, go to sleep, and wake up with a cleaning lady knocking on the door saying, come on, get up, in German though. Schnell, schnell. Anyway, uh, that was my life back then. And as I said, I used to do 40 to sometimes 60 concerts in a row. That's how I clocked up 18 hours a day. Because all the travel, 
and everything was all part of my work. I had no time for real pleasures of life. And I made a lot of money, I made a lot of friends, I met a lot of women, I had a lot of good times. It was a good time of my life. I was a young man from 27 till I did my last tour in 2005. Do I miss that life? Nah, not at all. I love it here. I love the peaceful life. Do I want to go back and tour again and just have one more taste of standing on the stage on the stage in front of like you know hundreds of people or thousands of people? I think about it sometimes, eh? I couldn't do the shows to the energy level I used to, but yeah, I, I think I might. I might go back. Right now, I want to buy this place or this bit of land over here where my house is, and uh, I'm going to get a mortgage, a very large mortgage, if I do get to secure it, and I probably will go back because that's how I can make really good money. Anyway, I wanted to share that story with you guys. It's just a very sort of rough outline of a part of my life that probably is quite boring to a lot of you, but... Uh, to me it was my life so I thought I'd share it with you for those of you that are uh, interested I'm going to uh, feed these guys and then uh, go and sit down at my uh, computer and edit a hunting clip of the weekend because the weekend was wicked young Patrick who I first took out when he's 11 he's now 28 and he takes me out there's a lot of men that these guys got to get a rabbit I've seen something I'm not even going to tell them off they're not going to catch anything. A lot of men today come and say good day to me that were young fellas 10, 15 years ago that I used to take out, and it's kind of cool. And it's really great to see how they've evolved. So Patrick's a really good hunter, so we went out on the weekend with him, and we took young Jody, and we also took Sneak, who's uh, one of my patrons from the North Island who stayed with me. And we uh, got two deer. Young Jody shot his first yelling fellow deer. My dogs, with uh, Patrick's dog, got two pigs. And uh, then Patrick shot a nice knobby, a uh, velvet. So we come home with uh, one pig we couldn't get back because it was too small and a bit stuffed up. But come home with a pig and uh, two deer. So that was a hunting. Get in. Come on. Come on. Look at Poe. Look at the size of her. Poe, you're fat. Look at you. You can't even walk. You're fading away to an elephant. Look at the size of you, Poe. There's a rat in there, isn't there, eh? Okay. Time to uh, get a roll of dog food, chop it up into little bits, bit of the old posse yum, and feed these guys. We really, we really need to get out and go for another hunt because we've only been doing like one a week and the dogs just aren't getting a chance to get their fitness up. Just not quite enough. Anyway, this is what the doggies get. The old posse yum. Good tucker. And Ducky, well, she's just down here not far away waiting for her posse yum, aren't you, mate? Hey? Yeah, where can you tell? You haven't even got it yet. You think it's in there, dear? Hey, hey. Supposed to be getting her a boyfriend and getting some uh, eggs fertilised, so we get her some more baby ducks. Hey, what's that? What you got? Dead rat. Who killed that one? Oh, hey, she just got that. She's just caught a good girl. Good dog. Post just nailed it. It's just been killed. Look at it. Good girl. Good dog. See what I'm talking, Bo's got a rat, look at her. Oh mate, that's the second one she's killed today. Happy days. That's absolutely stuffed, isn't it? Good dog, good dogs. Right, well, uh, chop this up. And uh, say, be good. And if you cannot be good, be careful. See you later. I'm so stoked. That was awesome, good girl. Who needs a cat when you've got a dog like Poe, eh? Even when she's pregnant, she can still catch him. Happy days.